Today, I want to show you how to dynamically change the data type for all the columns in your table or specific columns in your table using the function table transform columns. I have shown you that before using lists. Today, we're going to use table transform columns, one of my favorite functions in Power Query. So let me show you what I mean. Here I have a table in my, my Power Query editor. This table has one column with date. All the other columns have numbers. Control C plus to zoom in a little bit more. And here I'm going to create a new step. The formula bar, I'm going to press Fx. And after the equal, I'm going to say table, transform columns. Open parenthesis. It's asking me for a table that is coming from my step source, comma. It's asking me for a transformation as list. And let's say I want to transform all the columns in my table as number. So I'm going to provide an empty list. Uh, to tell Power Query that something is a list, I'm going to uh, provide the curly brackets. Uh, if you want to learn more about lists, I have a tutorial on that. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can take a look to that. So here I'm going to provide this empty list, comma, and I'm going to use the third parameter in this function. That is the full transformation as nullable function. And what I want from here is, let's say I want to transform this into number. I'm going to say number from. Close parenthesis and I'm going to press enter. Now you can see that all my columns have data type number. You see that 1.2 st stands for decimal number. Let's say I don't want decimal numbers. I want whole numbers. Well, instead of number from, I'm going to say int 64 from, press enter. And now you see that the icon here has changed from 1.2 to 1 to 3, which means whole number. Now let's go back here. If I wanted to convert this into a text, same thing, I could say text from, press enter, and everything has been transform into text. ABC stands for text. So I'm going to get back into, into 64. And now let's take care of payment date. Remember that we provided an empty list here. Let me remove this query setting so we have more space. Here. So here inside of the curly brackets, I'm going to provide the name of the column that I don't want to transform as whole number. I want to transform this column as date. So I'm going to say this is going to be payment date. And I forgot to provide the quotation marks. So quotation mark, payment date, and quotation mark again, comma. And from there, I'm going to say I want date, go to the end, press enter. Now you can see that my column payment date has a calendar, which means that is date, all the other columns are whole number. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me in LinkedIn, and share. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.